Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about the Java 8 wrapper classes enhancements. So in Java, we know that there are 8 primitive types and we have a corresponding wrapper classes. Right? So why these wrapper classes are there? Because we know that Java is an object oriented language and uh, object is everything in Java. So sometimes if you have a primitive type and that primitive type you can express uh, in the form of object, right? So to help those things, we have a wrapper classes. If you have an int, int value, then that int value you can represent in object using corresponding wrapper class is called integer. Similarly, for long, we have a wrapper class is called long, which starts with capital L. Uh, and uh, and uh, for various primitive type like uh, we have a double, float, byte, short, uh, uh, boolean. For every primitive type we have a corresponding wrapper class, right? So we know that in Java when you create a, a generic class or generic interface or you create a, a collection then you required to pass a, a class instead of primitive type. So, so that's why we required wrapper classes. Now, first of all, I would like to discuss about the uh, new methods enhancement in Java 8 in integer as well as long classes, right? So you can see in this slide, I have listed here, integer class uh, has been enhanced uh, with 12 new methods in Java 8. Uh, and uh, long class, in long class, it's a wrapper class, right? So long class is enhanced with 11 new methods in Java 8, right? So one of the method I have highlighted in red color. So uh, this method is not available in the uh, long class. But uh, if you see remaining 11 methods available in this these two classes, almost synonyms. So let's talk about the first method. And these methods are a static methods. So directly you can call by the class name itself. So when we talk about the first method, then this is a static method and it's public so that you can access from anywhere and return type is a string saying that two unsigned string. So let's talk about the first one. What is the signed and unsigned number in Java? So, so we know that uh, number we can represent in the either in positive and negative, right? When I say signed number, then we are talking about the positive as well as negative number, right? So, but when, when we talk about the unsigned number, then we are talking about the only positive integer, positive number, right? So that can be a, any data type like integer, long, float, right? So unsigned means positive in, positive number. So, so this method basically have been added for the most of the methods, wherever you see the unsigned word, right, in method, then that is, this method ha has been designed to handle the unsigned number. When I say unsigned number means positive numbers, right? So let's talk about the first method saying that two unsigned string. So here you'll pass the any integer value and here you can pass the radix. So radix you can, if you want to convert, right? This passed integer value in uh, binary, then you will have to pass radix two, right? Because binary number represents only two numbers, zero or one, right? Now, if you want to convert this number in octa, this octa, octa number system, then you will have to pass radix as a 8. Or if you want to express this past integer value in hexadecimal, then 16. So, I hope you understood what's the significance, what's the huge case of two uh, unsigned in, uh, string, right? And here we will have to pass integer value. Now, second two unsigned strings. So again, this is designed for the positive integer here you will pass the integer this will convert into the string itself right so there are already pre-existing methods which helps you to convert integer into a string but this is the one of the new method is added in the uh, java 8 so this works very similar right so next we have a parse unsigned int here you pass the uh, string and you pass the radix uh, radix you can pass like 2 8 10 16 something like this right and this will convert the this pass string based on the radix in corresponding integer value right so 
now next we have a parse unsigned yield so here pass you will have to pass the string and that will convert into the uh, integer if conversion gets failed if you pass the alphanumeric then that will not convert into the uh, corresponding integer then in that case you get number format exception now hash code so this is pretty straightforward so there was already one hash code method in till java 7 so java 8 has added one more hash code method so here this when you pass any integer this will return the corresponding hash code value right so every object has a an identifier is called hash code it's a memory address you can say and that value will be returned right now next we have a compare unsigned so here we will have to pass positive number so this will return you a value like if first number is greater than second number this will this is going to return you one if first number is less than second number this is going to return you minus one and both number you are passing uh, same, same value that this is going to return zero whereas this works like a comparator now next we have a two unsigned long you pass the integer value this will convert into the corresponding long in long value now next method we have a divide unsigned so we pass the dividend and division both will have to pass positive number because you can see this is designed for the unsigned number now this is going to return you the uh, result right so you can pass the if you are passing 100 and divisor you are passing 5 this is going to return you the 20 as a result now next remainder unsigned so this is works like a modulus division if you pass uh, dividend as a 100 and divisor as a 24 so remainder is 4 so that is gonna return so here dividend and divisor you will have to pass as a positive number right because this is designed for the unsigned um, uh, number right now the last three methods like sum max and mean pretty straightforward you pass the two integer parameters and you get the sum value max value and mean value right these uh, three methods are also available in uh, wrapper class like long uh, float and double right so here uh, uh, parameter is getting change only and return type and rest of the things is similar in the rest of the wrapper classes as well so if you look into the some method which is available in the uh, long class so this takes long as a parameter right two parameters long parameter and returns you the long integer long value here long here this method takes two integer parameter getting the max value right if you are passing 20 100 so 100 is the maximum value so this is going to return here you pass the both parameter in the uh, long format but the return uh, this will work uh, very similar right and similarly for the mean so this was the just high level insight on these methods this was just a theoretical discussion let's uh, here I have open Eclipse and here I have created a project uh, saying that integer and long wrapper Java 8 methods. Here I am going to show you some huge cases for some of the methods. So most of the methods I will take from the integer class and I assume if you know how to work on this method which is present in the integer class similarly you can work on the method which are available in the long classes right. So let's start with the so these methods are uh, a static method so directly you can call by class name right so integer dot i would say <coughs> to unsigned so i am going to use to unsigned a string so here i am going to pass a string as 1010 right so this is this would be the string and radix i am going to pass two so this is and this is going to one minute what is signature of this here you will have to pass integer and radix sorry so here i'm going to pass integer as 10 so let's pass 10 and radix i'm going to pass 2 so what i want basically i want to convert 10 into binary equivalent number right so if you print so what's the binary equivalent of 10 1 0 1 0 right if you print this value this is going to return you 10 zero and 10 zero, right so binary equivalent of binary equivalent of 10 is 10 zero and 10 zero. 
if you pass uh, radix as 16 right so this is gonna return you a right so uh, hexadecimal has a 16 digits right so start from 0 to till f so that's why this is returning you a so let's make it 2 itself again i'm gonna change so this will return you 10 zero zero zero, right so now next i'm gonna use two unsigned and i would say two unsigned a string which takes one parameter so here you pass the value as an integer and this is going to return you corresponding uh, this, this will convert uh, unsigned number in, in uh, a string right so we have already couple of method you can do the same job using existing uh, methods like uh, if you see something is called uh, there are a lot of methods uh, like in a string class if you look into the string class so a string class have a has a lot of methods there you can pass like uh, uh, you can say int value right value of sorry value of so value of like here you can pass the integer you will get the corresponding string value right so so this works uh, in the similar fashion so you pass the integer and you get the this value will be converted into the uh, corresponding uh, a string right so here you will have to pass only positive integer because this is designed for the unsigned so this is gonna print you 10 right that is in a string now let's see next methods some more important methods like uh, parse so here I'm gonna use this parse unsigned int so parse unsigned int what I'm going to pass I'm going to pass this a string and radix I'm gonna pass to so this is almost a reverse functionality of this guy right so here what you are passing here you have a specified a decimal number convert into the corresponding uh, binary right here I'm passing the binary how you can say this is binary because radix I'm, uh, I have a specified as a 2 this will convert into a corresponding decimal so here we are expecting to be printed 10 which is in decimal right so let's see what is getting printed so we are getting to 10 so i hope you understood now let's see some more new methods now uh, something is called uh, divide unsigned so here i'm going to read uh, div uh, dividend i'm going to pass uh, 100 and divisor i'm going to pass 25 so this is this will just perform the division and this will return so in this case this is going to return you uh, 4 right so let's try to print it and this is going to return you 4 right so simple division right if you pass 24 still this is going to uh, print you 4 itself right because assigned value is integer so fractional part will be truncated now again i'm going to uh, show you something is called uh, remainder unsigned so dividend i'm going to pass 100 and divisor 24 so what would be the remainder remainder is a 4 so 4 will be printed right this works like a modulus division but this is designed for the unsigned uh, unsigned number so here both integer will have to pass as a positive right so you can see 4 is getting printed now last I'm, I'm talking about the method is called sum so let's say sum and here I'm going to pass 100 and second number 20 this will print the sum of these two number right so if you try to print so this will print 120 so most of the methods I have covered right so I hope how you understood how uh, this method works right so this is pretty straightforward so thanks for watching this video and this code I am going to upload on the github and github location I will specify in the video 
description itself thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial